What's going on, all you crayon eating motherfuckers? RC Styles here. Back again, that's right, your digital nightmare. Back behind the streaming camera. In the captain seat. Back on Friday Night Frights for the next couple of weeks. Checking it out, y'all. My brand new fucking controller got it for five. It's actually one of the first universal gaming controllers that I've ever had. This thing works for the PlayStation 3, 4, and 5, as well as the PC and Nintendo Switch. I just set this to story mode so that way we can get through the story without less, uh, with less danger involved. Now allow me to cover as much of the content as possible. Tonight we're covering the prologue. The same dream again. I've dreamed that I've decoded the Zodiac Cipher. All right. First up, we want to collect their journal, as you can see straight up at the top there. Everything's pretty much simple. My journal. I'll never leave home without it. Like your American Express card there, Slappy. Uh, oh, snail's pace on that cursor, y'all. Alright, let's see what you gotta say. Bro. Ever since the worst letters I'd ever read started arriving at the editorial office, I've not been able to think about anything besides Zodiac. I forced the chief editor based on my college thesis, or persuaded him to give me the case. I got involved to such an extent that I live and breathe the story, not only through my working day, but in the night. It brings me dreams connected to the monster more and more often. So, real quick, with your journal, you can do a few things with it. There is the diary feature. So we have to do something about that. Right, so where is I? Okay, much better. Uh, whenever there's an entry, you can hit this little speaker right here that'll allow you to hear them talk of what the entry is. Go here, top, top left tab here gives you your objectives. Our next objective is to listen to the answering machine messages. You also have your inventory here. You'll get facts about the Zodiac here. And if you get stuck, you'll also get little hints here, too. Basically, it's just telling us to press the touchpad to open up the journal, and we can find current goals in the Objectives tab, which I just went over with you. Alright, enough of my lollygagging. Let's go ahead and listen to the answer machine messages. I do highly recommend that you look at every fucking thing that you come across that is highlighted, as I am doing here. <clears throat> I'll give you all a minute to read that, but it should actually register itself in the journal. And I'll show you an example of that here, but go ahead and take a second to read that. Uh, the part where my big head is covering, I'll allow it here in just a second. Okay, and where my big head is, it says, Picture that is impossible for us to see. Zodiac's identity may... It looks like it says, looks like it's starting to say resemble or re resembling or whatever, but it's R-E-M-S-M-G-I-Y-R-T-I-G-B-Y-U-G-A-F-R, -E like, 
someone interrupted them when they were typing or I've seen this when my cat walks across the keyboard to be honest with you but since we're talking about the Zodiac Killer I have a feeling that there may be suspicious foul play involved yeah next thing we want to highlight we have to walk around again. Now we can't put this in an inventory yet, or unfortunately, so moving along. I can't solve it. It seems like the message is incomplete. So, once you feel like you're satisfied and have looked at just about everything that's highlighted in this room at this time, you can kind of go to this door and exit. You'll find the answering machine right up here on the right. You can also take a second to look at the family portrait. So looking at the cipher and looking at that family portrait unlocked a couple journal entries. You'll go ahead and check those out right after you listen to the message. Hi Robert, it's Donald. Why aren't you picking up? Look, turn on the TV and call me. Hi Robert, it's Patrick. I'm coming to you and I have package for you from our editorial office. Alright, so now they want us to watch the news, before we do that, go ahead and check those journal entries out I was just telling you about. I was handed the chance of a lifetime and I can't let it go. Maybe it's sick and offensive, but I'm delighted that Zodiac chose me among all the journalists working his case. He could have chosen anyone. A more accomplished reporter easily. Yet here we are. The devil is extending his hand and beckoning to me to dance. All right, let's dance then. Is he watching me? Is he stalking me? It's unnerving. He probably counts on using me to his own purpose, because he wants fame and recognition, of course. He wants also, no doubt, somewhere underneath it all to be understood. In a way, these murders must be some kind of communication on his part. He would really be surprised to see what I'm planning to do. I'm going to use him, not the other way around. We'll talk and get friendly, I'll make him trust me, and in the end, I'll get my book. And that fucker will land in the electric chair. At least that's my goal. Of course, that's all a long way ahead. It would have been easier if I had decoded Zodiac ciphers. But sooner or later, I'll get him. Oh yeah, mark my words, for sure. Zodiac is not nearly as smart as he thinks. Very few people are. And he's brought Doom and me down on himself. I kind of knew he'd been beating her, but this was the first time I'd seen it happen. I wasn't so much terrified by my mother's screams as she was falling, or the incredible strength of the punches, but I was horrified because of his precision and lack of hesitation because of his sheer will to attack her. His reaction seemed 
purely mechanical and uh, with an odd sort of skill applied. So later that day, he looked at mom sitting in the kitchen. The old man looked at her, putting a cold compress and applying it to her face. He only said that he knew what he'd done and it probably would be healed by Sunday. And of course he was right. By the time we went to church that Sunday, mom looked as pretty as ever and nobody noticed anything. So I tried to think of my father as a man who'd always been looking for the good in life or trying to find something good in life, but never quite managing to find it. He really tried most of the time, but then there were these explosions. We'd we'd never gone hungry. He told me once that he couldn't cope with some things he remembered in his own life. Was it because of the war? Maybe someone had hurt him so badly in his younger days that he hurt us in order to deal with that pain. One misfortune comes from another so often, and often completely without us knowing it or making the connection. We love, but we find it hard to be decent to one another so often. I think that my father couldn't cope with this at all. Great, that takes care of the family portrait entry. There's no other entries at this time. Got some uh, Zodiac facts though. Go ahead and check those out. Is there anything that we have for that? Let's continue on. Our next objective is... Watch the news. Go ahead and watch the news. Our keys are going to come in handy here. So, that'll be our first inventory item. Hi, Micah. What you doing, kiddo? Press ID. Like I said, you kind of want to take a minute and look at everything that's highlighted. Hmm. Slides should be in the box somewhere here. Exactly. Mike is right on the news with that. Friends. Family. Old times. You never know, like this could unlock something, like a memory. Uh, you always want to rotate like pictures and papers because you never know if there's notes written on the back. And then like you also want to pay attention to anything with numbers. There's going to be an example of that here momentarily as a matter of fact. Using my detection skills, could he be Polish? Hmm. Alright, so our next objective is to call the boss. I want to open these doors quickly. It'll help us navigate things a little bit better, knowing what's behind those doors. The reason why I haven't opened this one 
because it's current, it's locked, and I'm not opening this one yet because it'll trigger soon. Like, we can't even interact with it. See how just looking at the glasses triggered another fact. See how we were just talking about making sure you rotate things as there might be notations on the back. Here's a, what appears to be a date, 10 71 We know that the game takes place in the 70s. So that could just be indicating when this picture was taken. So after you all have read this, my big head's not covering anything of importance here. I do want you again take note. Again, 102371. And now we see 102371 in three places. The description of this letter, top of the letter, and then come back over here. 102371 again. So, we have to remember that. It may come in handy. <clears throat> Robert, I gave you two years of my life. That's almost 800 days that you owe me. Think of it as a debt you can never pay off. As if you stole something you can't give back. After my friends split up from their partners, they always have lots of good memories, shared mornings together, trips away, sex. But I just want to wipe the two years with you from my memory. I wish I'd spend those two years in a coma, get it? I don't want to waste another minute. Don't write, don't call. You've already taken enough from me. This woman's a fucking nasty bitch with that comments, man, but I'm sure there's reasons. I'm sure we'll find out what those reasons may be. Now, before we call the boss, we did have some more diary entries here. I know this letter by heart, and I still keep reading on it. It's like I was looking for a lost word that will bring back hope, and we can get back together somehow. We met when I won that damn reward. She literally jumped into my bed. I really thought she was just another stupid and girl, uh, impressed by journalists, but she wasn't. I used to love to listen to her, to fuck her, to laugh with her. I loved our normal life together. And then one day, I realized I don't need anyone or anything but her. The world outside became unnecessary. I wrote, I loved... I was myself in our own place. The worst thing is I I never fought for her. I just let Monica slip away like she was worthless or not worth enough. In a way, I don't blame her for being so mad at me. She won't come back. She's far too proud. And that's what I loved most about her. Sure, it's all my fault. Good lord. When he hired me, my editor-in-chief asked if I had any additional income because it was impossible to live on the money he was offering. I remember him well. He had cigar-stained, brown teeth, and 
bits of meat stuck in between them or some kind of food anyway. I swear to God, he was a piece of work. Fortunately, I had a job at the car wash and I was able to write in a disused utility closet. I managed about three hours of sleep per night. Those were crazy days. But I kept seeing my articles, one after the other, appearing on the front page of the newspaper. It was a kind of miracle. And this reassured me, even though the faint alone could not sustain me. On my first official day as a journalist, I got sent to an interview with a guy at a country concert that was part of a farmer's expo. The man claimed not only that a UFO had landed in his front yard every Friday, but he also had a telepathic connection to his brothers who apparently lived in the rings of Saturn. The country band hadn't played the, until the end, and I had to eventually run for my life from a mob of angry rednecks, which is always fun. Why? Because I was the only man wearing a suit there. Big mistake. And everybody thought that the canceled show was my fault, like I was the producer or something. The UFO-friendly farmer had set his dogs upon me, so I was being bitten, and uh, they were chasing me, and eventually I just got the heck out of there. To make things worse, a brick fell just a few inches away from me when I was walking up the driveway. So, all in all, not a good situation. Someone else would have seen this as a sign from God, perhaps, not to do what they had in mind. I thought that uh, anything bad that could have happened to me on the job had already happened. <laughs> after that first assignment, of course. So I assumed it would be uh, smooth sailing from here on. I mean, what could go wrong? Hmm. What could go wrong? In my experience, those words always seem to be famous last words. But but there's the uh, Zodiac Killer Facts, another, uh, several suspects, no convictions, blah, 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 blah. Okay, moving on, guys. Sorry, I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster. Our next objective is to call the boss. Hello, boss. Sure, I've seen it. I'm still working on the cipher and an article about it. Your knife buddy threatens to blow up a school bus. What's more, he sent us a package addressed to... Well, guess who? You son of a bitch. Guess who? Patrick was at your place, but you didn't answer. You were probably sleeping. <sighs> Get over that girl. She's left you. That's it. Anyway, Patrick left the package from Zodiac by your door. There's a message written just for you. So move your ass and back to work. All right. Find the package from Patrick that is going to be right out here. Take a look at the package. I'll give you guys a chance to read that and then of course we'll go into the journal and let it be dictated to us as well. My big head is not blocking anything at this time. Alright guys, sorry I'm gonna have to do this to you all but speed read. That was a letter. Negative holder. Go ahead and place that in our inventory. Cipher fragment. 
We'll also put that into our inventory. Okay, we do anything else? Guys, a chance to look that over the best you can. Aim on that one, and we've already seen the other two. Okay, objectives. We need to fill in the missing part of the cipher and then we need to print the photo from the negative. Let's get on with that. We go to our office for that. Open up our inventory, select the cipher fragment, and then press the uh, X button in my case. What is he saying to me? I still don't know. Alright, so we took care of that. Alright, now we're going to print the photos. Now that's going to be down this way. We're going to come through the kitchen area. things. That leads us back into the living room. This leads us down into the one hallway and down into the steps. We can't open that door. It's locked. This is one of the doors that goes out. This is where our car will be kept. That will be important later. There's our dark room. That door is locked. Then we're gonna do the photographic paper with the shell. I think we're wrong. All the eyeballs basically. There we go. Now we gotta take it over to the dishes. There's a certain magic in developing photos when the image is just beginning to emerge. And I'm trying to guess what it is. I used to believe in that magic once. Oh, exactly. A little teeny tiny bit long. I think it's actually the game. What is this place? It looks familiar. I bet I must have passed through it. Or seen it in a book. Find the book with the name of the place from the photo. Come along, follow me as I lead you to the living room where we were just looking at those uh, photos on the slideshow.
Now we're going after the book, but like I said, you want to interact with just about everything here. You never know if something's going to be important later. So. Oh, do diary entry. This is a once in a lifetime book. Let's look, that hill must be here somewhere. There it is, Mount Diablo. Gotcha. I better take my gun. Everyone in their right mind carries a gun. Monica wanted me to keep it in a safe locked away. Perhaps there's some sense in that, but a woman's thinking makes a man vulnerable. And what do you get in return? All right, but now we get the article from Mount Diablo. It was a beautiful evening. I really felt like the king of the world. I could do anything. Every obstacle in my way had disappeared. I remember when I was in college and worked all night at a local warehouse just to earn a few extra bucks. It was a book storage place or warehouse. I used to dream that my book would one day be among them, printed in thousands of copies, rewarded and loved and admired by readers. All I could do was keep on dreaming, <laughs> not eating enough, and moving pallet after pallet. And then I got the award. I got hired by San Francisco's major newspaper and found the best girl in the world. It couldn't have been a better life. I couldn't have dreamed of a better life. I had everything. But all I could think of was my father. Too often, those images of my angry, grim-faced old man drinking himself to death somewhere in South Georgia. I only wanted one thing, his approval of my decisions. For him to say that I had not failed him, just to say it at least once. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Zodiac. I'd be a hero. 
might be the man who stopped him. No, no, what am I saying? I'll write about him. Anyway, he'll probably turn himself in. Then I'll be famous anyway. And he'll hang. Perhaps there is some justice in the world. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the option as to whether or not... But I've never fired a gun. Should I really take it? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I'm taking it, man. I'm telling you. Maybe I will regret this, but at least I'll be able to defend myself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright. What's next? Drive to Mount Diablo. We got the keys from the dish earlier, but in case you didn't, the keys are right here. Back out, all the way down the hallway, down here to our car. Now we can't just open it, so what we need to do is highlight our key. Now we can get in. Alright, now we're on our way to Mount Diablo. This guy is drunk. I'm on my way to Mount Diablo to confront Zodiac. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I've never been so afraid and actually terrified my entire life. But it's my moment now. It's my chance to show the world what a great investigative journalist I am. I'll be the first to look such evil right in its eyes. Confront it. Mount Diablo. Jesus, it's freezing. <sighs> How far is this car? It'll be right up ahead on our left. There we go, see there's the tower right here. You can't do anything with the tower, so keep the focus on the car here.
This guy was pretty much a bit of a fucking freak. I'm telling you. Sense for a newspaper back in the 70s, guys. Just think about that. Open the door. There we go. All right, there's a bus right up ahead of us. We don't want to.
in our inventory, you literally have to highlight it. For those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have that guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 what?